my name is Chris Curry and in this video I'm going to show you how to create this simple ink overlay transition in After Effects. Let's not waste any time and jump right in. First thing we're going to do is hit Command N on our keyboard to create a new composition. I'm going to name mine Tutorial Comp, everything else looks good so select OK. Next we're going to import our images, hit Command A to select all then S to reveal the scale properties. I'm going to resize each of these images so they look good. Once we've done this we can bring our ink transitions into the timeline. I'll leave a link below so you can download these free 4K files. As they are 4K files, I'm going to scale them down to 50% to fit the composition. We're going to put each of these transitions over the images. What we want to do now is have the images underneath reveal on the dark parts of the ink footage. To do this we need to change the track map to Luma Inverted Matte. If you can't see the track map, click this button in the bottom left hand corner to reveal the transfer control options. As you can see this is a really simple but effective editing technique and you can actually get quite creative with it. Now repeat this step for the other images. You can move the ink layers any way you want. I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees and move this above the other layer. This technique works for any black and white footage you have. What you can do is actually recreate your own transitions in After Effects. So if we hit Command N and create a new composition, I'm going to call this Transition. Hit Q to get our shape tool and then select the ellipse. I'm going to drag and hold shift and command to scale from the center. Change this to white. Then align it to the center of the composition. I also want the anchor point to be in the center of the ellipse. A quick way to do this is to select Y on your keyboard to get the anchor tool. Then holding command, double click this and it will centralize the anchor point automatically. Select the ellipse, hit S and scale this down to zero. Then move 10 frames forward and scale this up so we're only left with white. Last thing we're going to do is create a black solid layer so hit command Y on your keyboard. Move this solid layer below the ellipse. I'm going to make a few small adjustments to these keyframes by right clicking the one on the end and adding easy ease. Then I'm going to make a small tweak to the speed graph editor. And we've created our own transition. All we need to do now is go back to our original composition and drag this new transition in. I'm going to delete these ink layers and replace them with our new transition. So this time we want the image to reveal on the white part of the transition, which means we need to select Luma Matte. Don't forget to hide the transition layer, otherwise it won't work. You can get quite creative with this and make some quite cool looking transitions yourself in just a few simple steps. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button and have a great day.